Welcome to the Laravel Collections Guide. In this series, we take a look at each of the available methods in the Laravel Collection class and dive deep through examples in explaining what it does. Today, we're going to be looking at Map Spread. Map Spread takes a chunked collection and passes each one into a callback. Let me show you an example. Let's start off with collection equals collect. And we're going to pass in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, just to have some nice data. Return collection. And like I said before, you need to chunk it. So chunk 2. Now I'm going to stop right here just to show you what chunk did to our collection. So now we have a collection that each contains a collection containing two of the items at a time. So we have 1, 2 as 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8. Each one have become its own collection. Now let's call map spread on it and pass in a closure. And like I said, you will have each side as its own variable. So we'll call this A and B. A referring to the first one and B referring to the second one. And so inside here, you can return whatever you need to return. In my case, for this example, I'm going to return A times B. And let's check out the results. So of course we get 2, 12, 30, and 56. So it basically generates a whole new entire collection made out of each of the chunks. Now I do have to give you a big, big warning with this one, and it is that it has some unexpected behavior sometimes. And I'm going to show you that right now. If we added one more value, what will happen is that when we chunk this, there aren't enough to complete that last one, right? As we know, we have this one, then we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then 9 is left by itself. And we're actually multiplying whatever that 9 would be times a mystery number, right? Let's check out the results. Where is that coming from? So that is a very important thing to know about map spread. In this scenario, we're getting back 36. So how are we getting 9 to 36, you may ask? Well, it's actually defaulting to the key. So 9 times 4 equals 36, and that's how we're getting 36. For so that's a very unexpected behavior. You wouldn't expect that to be the case, but it is. And now to drive the point home even more, I'm going to modify this one more time, and I'm going to delete these last two, and then I'm going to chunk by 3. So as you're expecting, you'll have variable A, B, and variable C. A times B minus C. Okay, let's see the results. The whole thing blows up, right? You get this too few arguments to function exception. And the reason behind this is because when we're chunking by three, the first one will have one, two, three. The second one will have four, five, six, and the third will have seven, plus the key, which defaults as a second argument, but then that third one, there's nothing there, and the whole thing blows up. So keep that in mind. Only use map spread when you have a finite amount of items inside a collection. If it's an unknown amount, you need to do some checks, and you need to make sure that this is not going to blow up in production. So keep that in mind. Now let me go ahead and fix this one here. So we'll say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And so, now we're back to what we expect. Okay, now I want to show you one more thing here, and that is that you can return a whole new array if you wanted to. So I'm going to actually encapsulate this in square brackets, and we're going to say that A times B is going to be my new key, and we're going to set that equal to C. We get 2 as the key equals 3, because 1 times 2 equals 2, and then we're using C as the new value, and then we move on. 4 times 5 equals 20, and that's our new key, and then set that equal to 6 as the value. And finally, 7 times 8 is 56, and we're setting 9 as the new value. Now the last thing I want to touch up on with map spread is that map spread returns an entirely new collection. So let me show you what that looks like. Instead of returning collection, I'm going to return collection the variable. And let's check out the results. So we're back to our original collection. Map spread 
does not modify the original collection, but rather it returns an entirely new collection. Now, if you needed to save the results of map spread, then you need to save that to a new variable, like so, new collection equals that, and then instead of returning collection, we're gonna return new collection. Let's check out the results, and we're back to what we had. So keep all of that in mind whenever you're gonna use map spread.